Hi, my name is Jacob, and today we're gonna play around with a new software. I was watching YouTube, and I was, uh, yeah, I saw uh, uh, somebody play with Remake. Uh, and what is Remake? Remake is a software that you can convert STL files to object files. And uh, this time I tried to convert this complicated STL file is a STL file of uh, of Super Mario 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 in Super Mario Bros. It's a complicated uh, file, and we will try to export it or convert it. I will use quick export and make a Fusion 360 object file and export it. I already done it, uh, but I can do it again. Export it so I can open it in Fusion 360 and my goal is to get a T-spline body. And we will see if uh, Remake can do this for us automatically. Uh, to do this shape as a T-spine body, it's, uh, it's a... Yeah, it takes some time. It's uh, uh, it's complicated to do this uh, to do this shape. But if we can use software and convert a STL STL file to a T-spine body, it should be great. Uh, and we open up our uh, task pane and upload. this uh, Super Mario object file and upload it in the cloud and just wait some seconds It's a fair complicated shape, so when you have it in a STL file or object file, it's it takes some uh, some uh, what should I say some storage. It could be big files, so we just wait for the file to upload it, and we will try to open it up in uh, F Fusion 360. Yeah, it takes some time, but we will finally get there. Um, yeah, what is a STL file? Uh, a STL file is a file format that is used for 3D printing and it is like a mesh. Uh, it is not a uh, uh, a watertight solid model it is more like a mesh like a fishing mesh that is like use these uh, different kind of polygons and uh, create a mesh of something uh, and if we can convert it to a t-spine body then we have a body that we can edit with uh, manipulators it's like having the object created in uh, what do you say in English 
uh, and you know sculpting a cup with uh, clay clay it's like an object with clay you can use on the platers and do some cool stuff to the object yeah i have already done this uh, so it takes some time we can open uh, another uh, this is uh, what it looks like if we, uh, you have uploaded it. I have do some modification and play around with it uh, so it will not look like this. I have tried to just you know use the manipulators and stretch and sort of stuff out and that it's just that's me but and I remove it it will be some it, it will not be one body it will be this overall body then we will have the eyes in two separate objects and uh, these blind bodies and then you have the hat as one body uh, but so it's a four complicated shape so you can't just convert it and has a perfect you will get some uh, pretty close i will say but you can use this repair body and you see that it is a lot of errors and if you use auto repair it actually weld together the different uh, T-span bodies to try to get a watertight and if you have a watertight then you can uh, get a solid uh, here you have more like T-spline uh, some shapes that is not watertight you have to try to fix this manual like using uh, uh, weld vertices. Uh, yeah, I can close this file and try this new import, and you can have a look at it. How it look? It looks just exactly like this. Hmm. It looked like this. Here we have our Super Mario. We have used Remake. And you can see if we open the bodies, we have this uh, mesh uh, object quad. And we want to convert this mesh body to a t-spline body and we press ok we can do it but we don't get one watertight uh, body so we can't close it uh, and do uh, a solid from it we have to adjust that So it looks like this, we have the top of a hat, we have the, one of the eyes, we have the top shape of the hat, and then we have the body, and it's, you know, it's some holes, and if we use our repair body, choose that, it's a lot of errors. Let me choose something else. There, it's it's better the eye there. Let me press out repair. Okay. I think it worked with the one of the eye. We close the rest. 
it actually look like a But I'm no expert in sculpt mode. I don't know why I'm not getting uh, why I'm not getting this uh, close uh, form. Uh, maybe if we remove all the others. I just wanna see if we get no, we don't get this. No, it's not. It's not watertight. It's some errors. We take auto repair. Hmm. hmm. I don't know why why I'm not getting uh, uh I can't close it. If I should uh Create a new box like that. Uh, we use that one like that and that and do something like this. Go back to model. Hmm. Maybe we remove that one. Use just this. We go back to sculpt mode. Uh, we open a new file. Maybe I have done something with menu. I'm not sure about this. We create a new design and we go to that one. Mm. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't look like the same. It's like that. So it's some point there you can finish forms. But if you import objects file you get it here sculpt like this I think it is it, it may be a bug I don't know it doesn't look the same hmm. because I want to if I do like this and create something and finish the form then I actually got a body, a solid, uh, that I can combine with something else. Yeah, that was something else. But uh, our test today was if we can use remake and get uh, uh, get this uh, T spline uh, body automatically. The answer is. We have to uh, adjust it a little bit. It's pretty close, I guess, but but you can't uh, do a complicated shape like that automatically. But maybe in the future, I don't know. But that was my a little yeah yeah just play around round with remake, and I'm no. I am no uh, expert on sculpt mode and I'm importing, converting, but 
but uh, it's pretty close I guess uh, maybe you have much more experience with remake and this kind of stuff I got the Super Mario model from GrabCAD and maybe you can help me and uh, you can do a video tutorial how to uh, fix this uh, object and uh, how to convert it so I try to do it more automatically yeah thank you for listening and uh, yeah have a nice day bye bye